Welcome to La Mia Italy, a series of short videos about Italy by a Briot with Italian blood who's lived in both Britain and Italy and loves them both. Famous Barcelona footballer and notorious earbiter Luis Suarez has recently shone a spotlight on Italian nationality laws by apparently cheating in his Italian language test when trying to get an Italian passport. He was applying for a passport in order to facilitate his move to Juventus. Now I love football but in this case the issues raised that are really interesting are those to do with Italian nationality. The first thing to know is that it's difficult for a child of foreign parents, even if the child is born and brought up in Italy, to get an Italian passport until they're 18. Now if the parents are, say, French, perhaps it's not such a problem as the European Union ensures that they have very similar rights. However, if the parents are from another country, let's say in Nigeria, it's very different and I can completely understand why they and their child may feel like a second-class citizen rather than a full participant in Italian society. In contrast, it's ridiculously easy, at least in theory, for around 80 million people of Italian origin living around the world, known as Oriundi, to obtain an Italian passport. Nobody knows the exact figure, but there are more potential Italians living outside Italy than Italians living in Italy now. For example, it's thought that about half of all Argentinians could claim an Italian passport if they could get the documentary evidence to back it up. Italy's nationality laws are based on blood relations and they use the Latin words jus sanguinis to describe it, probably as it sounds less medieval. And that means if you had an ancestor who was an Italian citizen in 1861, the year of Italian unification, who didn't go on to renounce their Italian citizenship, then you are in. There's no requirement to speak Italian or have any meaningful connection with Italy if you're claiming a blood relationship. It's also enough to have a parent who is Italian so you don't necessarily have to go back to 1861. That's how I have an Italian passport, which until Brexit is something I never thought would really matter in practice. This ancestral link to Italy is why so many footballers, mainly from South America, are classed as Italian, even though they have effectively no connection with Italy other than very distant blood ties. Current examples include the Brazilian Jorginho at Chelsea and the Argentinian Giovanni Lo Celso at Tottenham. Although Diego Maradona, Maurizio Pochettino, or Pochettino, as originally he would have been known, Eric Lamella, Edinson Cavani, all sound as if they could have been too. In practice, it's not so easy to prove that you have Italian blood. It may well be true that Bis or Tris Nonno was Italian, let's say from a small village in Calabria, but no one quite knows which one. So tracking down documentary evidence of that is tricky, if not impossible. This is probably the reason Luis Suarez was taking a language test, as I'd be surprised if he doesn't have a sufficiently strong blood connection to Italy. Mass migration from Italy to Uruguay was common from the mid-19th century onwards. If you can't prove that blood connection, you have to try something else. And in Luis's case, it was through his wife, who could prove it and does have an Italian passport. So Luis could apply for Italian citizenship as a spouse. However, this means having to pass an Italian language test, which it looks like he was none too confident of passing, and had to resort to, let's say, emergency measures. What's really interesting is what this all says about Italy and Italian politics today. Firstly, the Italian right have always maintained the use sanguinous or blood right basis for Italian nationality. It's the sort of thing that appeals to them. The left has talked about changing the basis, but is fearful that it will not gain sufficient support both in Parliament and possibly the country as a whole. However, it was the same right which introduced the requirement for a language test for spouses presumably as a way of limiting immigration into Italy from people, let's say, of non-Italian origin. It also shows, at least to me, that Italy is still struggling with how to deal with people with a different background to the typical Italian. Mass immigration into Italy is a comparatively recent thing. Migration has typically been the other way around, and Italy is still coming to terms with it. Things like Black Lives Matter and recent cases, such as the killing of Willy Montiero from Cape Verde by a bunch of... Um, or at least allegedly by a bunch of thugs outside Rome, may result in changes, although I suspect they will be slow in coming. And finally, what happened to Lewis? Having been caught cheating in his Italian exam, or at least been suspected of it, he's decided that perhaps after all, Italy is not for him, and it looks like he's moving to Atletico Madrid instead. Hope you found this video interesting. If you did, please subscribe. In the meantime, I'll be doing other videos, so look out for those. In bocca al lupo, and I'll see you soon.